What's up, Skull Fans? Balik lagi di Random Vlog Dan sekarang ini, gue ada di Pertama Arena Seperti kalian bisa lihat di belakang Prawira Harum Bandung dan juga Bumi Borneo Udah pemanasan untuk Game 1 di IBL Playoff First Round Excited pasti untuk game kali ini karena lo tau lah ya Ada historinya kedua tim ini waktu gue nonton di kota Malang sedikit panas So of course hari ini gue pengen lihat battle dari Brandon Francis Lawan Randy Bell Randy Bell kira-kira gak masuk nominasi MVP Bakal sengamuk apa hari ini Semoga aja dia bisa push on show Siapa tau bisa 40 poin hari ini You just never know Sayangnya Sebenernya gue hari ini pengen banget interview Jovial The Lopez uh, Salah satu co-owner dari Bumi Borneo Gue pengen banget nanyain dia tentang improvement dari tim ini Dan juga apa sih yang dia paling suka sebagai co-owner di IBL Tapi ternyata dia lagi di Jambi guys Jadi kita belum bisa interview dia hari ini Belum beruntung semoga next time ada kesempatan But of course hari ini kita akan bikin random vlog Semoga gamenya akan seru Dan juga semoga nanti kita bisa interview juga dengan beberapa pemain Kalau gitu guys seperti biasa guys Jangan lupa untuk like Jangan lupa untuk komen And please enjoy my vlog today guys Enjoy Togi Togi is the MC today Yuda with the fresh kicks For game 1 Lagi pemanasan dia Untuk 3 point Masuk nominasi MVP juga kemarin ini dia Expecting a big game though Untuk first game ini dia di playoff tahun ini BP getting ready. Congratulations to B Francis on winning the MVP award. from Agam. Hey, win or lose, man. Lanjut 
Jadi guys, this is a good ass game dong. Aduh gila sih kesini hari ini. Gila tapi Brawira lagi kalah the point guys. Gila tinggal 33 detik lagi. And down by one. Stress sih nonton gue. <laughs> Direktur dari Prawira Harum Bandung, Pak Teddy Cahaya Halo, apa kabar Pak? Kang Noki <laughs> Akhirnya ketemu juga ini Akhirnya ketemu juga Game satu udah stress itu gimana Pak? <laughs> Aduh, uh, sangat mendebarkan ya iya. Seperti kita lihat, kejar-kejaran Udah unggul sampai 15 poin Di kuartal 4, sempat ketinggalan berapa poin tadi dua Iya Akhirnya bisa menang dan selisih satu angka Deg-degan banget Deg-degan banget ya <laughs> Pak Teddy kan sekarang ini udah berapa tahun Pak untuk pegang Prawira? Prawira udah tahun ke... Ketiga ya? Ketiga ya? Ketiga. Tantangannya apa Pak untuk build a championship team? Karena kan udah berapa kali deket nih Iya, iya, iya Apa tantangan paling berat Pak? Ya memang kan pada akhirnya pada saat kita mengelola klub uh, uh, olahraga hmm. Itu kan kita harus membangun suatu uh, sistem uh, Kita membangun suatu uh, tim Dimana harus ada unsur-unsur nilai-nilai kekeluargaan supaya secara tim itu bisa menjadi satu keluarga dan 
bahu membahu saling membantu untuk bisa mendapatkan kemenangan di setiap pertandingan. Itu sih emang build that culture ya, yes. sama chemistry-nya juga. Yes. Dan Bapak ini sebenarnya tugasnya berat juga, Pak. Karena Bapak kan juga Lumayan. ada di Persib juga. Iya, tapi dan... kan sebenarnya kan kita ini bekerja dalam tadi karena kita satu keluarga, hmm. kita satu tim, jadi masing-masing punya peran masing-masing. Hmm. Karena setiap bagian di organisasi pasti punya kontribusi. Hmm. Tim behind the team itu sangat penting sekali. Meskipun pemain-pemain yang berada di lapangan, tetapi ada support sistem dari suatu uh, perusahaan manajemen yang akan mendukung tim yang bermain di lapangan untuk bisa bermain dengan maksimal. Iya kelihatannya memang support dari manajemen juga tahun ini untuk Prawira luar yeah. biasa ya, sampai yeah. ngambilnya pemain seperti Brandon Francis, KJ uh, Shaw. Yeah. Tapi untuk Bapak, ini dua fanbase yang besar banget Pak. Yeah. Dan pasti request dan juga yeah. permintaan dari fans banyak banget. Untuk Bapak sendiri, bagaimana sih untuk menangani biar fanbase ini tetap happy selalu dan juga bisa yeah, support memang juga tim. Pada akhirnya kan uh, suatu tim tidak bisa terlepas dari uh, fansnya. Dan itu yang kita harus bersinergi untuk bisa sama-sama dengan peran masing-masing untuk bisa membawa tim ini menjadi yang terbaik. Dan Pak, lihat tadi fansnya gila ya? Iya. <laughs> Keren Padahal banget. main di Jakarta. Iya, main di Jakarta. Nanti kita tunggu di Bandung makanya. Oh, itu di Bandung pasti udah siapin pasti ya? Pasti pecah. Pasti yang pecah, pecah banget. Ya. Pak, good luck. Terima Masih kasih ya, banyak ya, ya Pak. Ya. Sampai ya. ketemu lagi ya. Oke. Okay. Mun, ya. Mas Rimun. Bisa take us, ka, kasih kita tadi detail tentang play terakhir apa itu memang playnya untuk Randy Bell atau gimana? Iya, uh, sebenarnya memang play terakhir untuk Randy Bell. Hmm. Kita juga sudah kasih clue untuk attack the ring. Uh, mereka juga di, sudah tim foul. Cuma memang uh, dia ambil decision yang berbeda. Hmm. Tapi lebih daripada itu kita sepakat ya tidak menyalahkan situasi terakhir. Ya, ya kita nggak mau nyalain di ujungnya, tapi ya sepanjang gamenya kita nggak bisa menerusin yang baik aja. Dan first a playoff appearance untuk yes. Bumi Borneo dan hari ini udah bikin tegang <laughs> untuk sidit nomor satu loh. Okay. Jadi gimana pendapatnya tentang ya, performance dari teman-teman juga yang pemain lokal juga banyak yang step up hari ini? Ya uh, kita udah jalanin apa yang sesuai dari hmm. Coach Tony bilang. Uh, uh, apa ikutin rules disiplin hmm. itu kuncinya dan hari ini Agam tadi melihat apa sih di defense Prawira sampai Agam bisa take advantage dan juga mencetak 22 poin hari ini karena saya tahu ya saya punya kelebihan speed saya nggak hmm. takut mau tingginya siapapun ya this is basketball hmm. play the game lagi apa have fun enjoy gimana Gam perjalanan jauh lo karirnya dari dulu <laughs> sekarang <laughs> ada di playoff <laughs> Can you just talk about, kayak ngomongin dikit ya tentang perjalanan lu kayak Oh yang gimana tadi rasanya pas masuk lapangan, pas ini playoff loh, IBL loh, tadi gimana perasaannya? Iya sih, rada beda gitu suasananya hmm. dari supporter lawan, supporter kita, nggak mau ngecewain juga dari hmm. jauh-jauh keluarga datang, teman-teman semua datang, jadi nggak mau kecewain walaupun ya hasil akhirnya kita kalah Oke, okay, thank you Gam Thank you Pak oh. hmm. Yes Obviously very stressful game for you today. Yep. Um, but what did you see though? You guys not doing well in this game. Um, I thought just, uh, I thought not adjusting to, mm. we were taking away Bell, we were taking away some of the things and then other people were hurting us. And it's kind of interesting how that happens to us. We do a great job on, you know, the best player on their mm. team and then other people hurt us uh, that normally don't like number four scoring 22 points, you know, credit to him. But we have to adjust. That's the thing we talk about all season long is adapt and adjust. We, first quarter, somebody's hurting us. Second mm -hmm. quarter, somebody's hurting us. Okay, coming out of halftime, we have to make changes. We have to. Okay, now we got to guard a little bit different. Okay, we got to change a couple things here. So I think the boys and the coaching staff as well, but we have to do a better job on the fly of like, okay, feeling the game. This guy's hurting us here. It's, it's, it's happening over and over and over. We got to now take him away. And I think that uh, we just didn't do a good job of that tonight defensively. And Um, they were able to hit some shots, some tough shots, and I think that that was a big problem. Offensively, I think it's just about us hitting our shots. Uh, we shot horrible tonight. I think uh, very well under what we're supposed to do, um, and even just even just catching passes and finishing layups. I mean, Pendu might have had four, and he just missed right in the front of the rim. Reza, three or four, where he's just airballing layups around the rim. That's just not him. That's just not who they are. Um, Jojo, you know, right there at the rim, wide open. So I could just go on and on about different people uh, doing that. And normally we finish those plays. So I just think that we 
you know, clean up mm -hmm. some of those things defensively and we do what we do normally on offense, I think we're going to be just fine on Saturday night. I mean, like defense, you're talking about defense, right? Yeah. What makes balls. it... But yeah. yeah, but wait, what makes you so hard to guard the smallest guy on the court? Yeah, I mean, look, man, he's a good player. Mm -hmm. He's quick, he's fast, and you want to know what? He's mm -hmm. powerful. He's actually very powerful. He knows how to use his body, mm -hmm. and what he does well is he goes with speed, and then he knows how to bump quickly. And that speed combined with a quick shoulder can knock somebody off, and then he's quick with the shot. But to be honest, man, he didn't miss a lot. I mean, that, that's, that's, I mean, you guys tell me how many mm -hmm. games this season in IBL he scored 22 points, and he's hitting floaters over Jared. He's you know, going around Brandon hitting layups, step back threes and shit. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. So again, if he can continue that, credit to him. What we believe is we watch the video and that doesn't happen all the time. So again, let's see how they how they how they do in Bandung in front of our crowd, in front of our people, in front of a pressure pack game where they're on the ropes. Yeah. I'm sorry of course I, I would like to say congratulations. I appreciate it. I forgot about that. No, I appreciate uh, it. Coach of the year. I appreciate it. Third third time. Row, yeah, so what do you say about that? Uh, you know, it's big thanks to everybody. Everybody yeah. supported me. First of all, to these boys that make it happen for me, make me look good. Um, so I give all the credit to my players um, and the staff around me. But, you know, I also will say I like to give a lot of credit to all the other coaches in the league. A lot of local coaches. I think Coach Joko, Coach Melody, uh, Coach Bing from Rands. All those guys were more than deserving to be involved in the mix. Yobel as well. Um, and be a part of that, that process. But I do know that we work hard here, uh, we train hard, we prepare hard, and we uh, try to get, put these guys in the possession, best position to win. And so I thank guys like Yuta, uh, guys like Reza B, all these guys for making me a good coach, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, Brendan makes you look good though, at the end. <laughs> all those guys, I mean, that, that's, our, that's our recruiting, yeah. that's all of our stuff. So, I mean, it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a give and take. I think, you know, we work hard to try to put them in positions both mentally and physically, and then they, they, they put it together for us. But Brandon, though, uh, yes. if I'm not wrong, two big basket at the end? Huge. One, huge, right? Yeah. So you just gave him the green light? Yeah. yeah. You know, in those situations, you can tell you, I think mm. it's, a, it's about, you know, giving your best players the ball. A lot of the times late in the game, it's like give him the ball or give mm. Brandon the ball and let them make the play, right? And I think a lot of the times he made the right play, whether it was a pass, whether we missed it, or layup, drop off layup, we missed it, but put the ball in this guy's hands, he's rolling. They don't have any rim protection at that time in the game and he can uh, make plays. That's why he is the MVP and that's why, um, you know, he was able to do that for us. So that was happy. a big, huge offensive rebound too. Huge, oh, yeah. huge. Yep, Reza made a great move, mm. which was a foul. You guys will all see it on video. He's getting hip checked the whole way, all the way, all the way. They don't call anything. And then he misses and Brandon's right there. So. Uh, you know, he is who he is. He's the best player in the league uh, for a reason, and he works hard for it, and um, good things happen to okay. those type of people. Thank you, Coach. Not trying to get you fine. No, 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 it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It was just nervous, or what? At the start of the game, man, just like, you know? I'm not sure when I was in the game, but I'm too excited. Okay. Too excited, because I'm not playing the first game. I'm too excited. Oh, no, you played last year, right? <laughs> this, 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 we waited a long time. Yeah. Two weeks was a long time. Oh, yeah. I think one thing I will say, and it's not a shot at anybody, but I think you know the, the setup of this playoff construction and format is really odd and awkward for an eight seed to have an opening home game for us to have to be in Jakarta for a week waiting for them to give us practice time for them to play at their house when anywhere in the world soccer football baseball basketball whatever the top seed always has a home court advantage and they always open up at home I would say that for SM for PJ for Daywa for anybody else so that's the first time we've ever seen that it's very rare and then you get a turnaround of one day to be back in Bandung and prepare in Bandung when it should be flipped yeah. right so it is what it is um, we deal with it I'm very proud of the boys for dealing with that and we're super happy to go back to Bandung and I agree with you coach yes. 100% yes with that one Yes. But back to Yuda again. <laughs> um, yeah, um, tadi kan lo bilang kayak Agam is very strong, he's very fast. But emang nggak ada adjustment atau gimana untuk saat lagi? Um, akhirnya ada. Hmm. Awalnya kan emang di scouting reportnya kan hmm. uh, gua under on him. Uh, yeah. Tapi kan dia hit shot. Hmm. Terus tadi akhir-akhir udah di ice hmm. dan nyari pulks yang tadi Reza. Uh -huh. Ini tapi foul. Itu doang sih maksudnya hmm. adjustnya. Cuman Ya tadi emang salahnya nggak fisikal dari awal jadi dia dapat hmm. mentalnya sih. Untuk Yuda sendiri ya, untuk game 2 what do you want to improve? 
Um, sauce selection. And Judgment. yeah, control the game, control the table. I thought that your show was good though. A few of them work. Yeah. Yeah, a few of them could be better, but that's, that's a coach good. talking, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, like I said, I'm going to trust him every time on the court. Whatever choices he makes, I'm going to trust him. He already knows that, that I tell him that all the time. But like he's missed, yeah, he missed a couple good ones, you're right. Yeah. And then a couple other times just getting us organized and things like that. There's a couple times where the crowd screaming oh, yeah. and we're dribbling all over the place and we're throwing the ball. Fear down's dropping the ball, he's dropping. We just need to calm the hell down, pull the ball out, and relax. That's, <laughs> those are things that we have to understand because crowds are going to be like mm -hmm. this all the time. It's going to be way crazier in Bandung. So he knows that. He's played in tons of big games with the big crowds. So the reality is he knows that. We have to be more composed. Live in the out gang, Yeah! Thank you. 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 Thank you.